I did not need to buy new tires for my motorhome, but I did it anyway. Find out why next. If you have a camper or motorhome, there are some very important things that you need to know about your tires. For example, do you know that the number one reason to replace tires is not because they're worn out? That's right, it's not because they've gotten bald, it's because they've gotten old. In this video, we're going to talk about a lot of things tire related, including whether these cracked sidewalls are safe to drive on. The answer may surprise you. If you don't know, I'm a full-time RVer, I've been on the road for four years, and I recently bought a motorhome. Now when I looked at it, I saw the cracked sidewalls and I thought, okay, I'm going to need to replace these tires. And then the seller said he had just gotten it inspected at a tire place and they said that the tires were fine they'd probably be good for another year getting a blowout in a camper is not the same as having a blowout in a car if you have a blowout in a camper or a motorhome the tire is going to take pieces of the camper with it i had a neighbor once with a fifth wheel and he had damage along the entire side of his camper what had happened is he had had a blowout in his truck and it moved the whole rig into a guardrail. It's really a serious thing and it could cost you thousands of dollars in damage and you could lose months of camping time. Well, I did buy the motorhome and I took it to a tire place and believe it or not, they said the same thing. These cracked sidewalls are going to be good for another year. Now these cracks are not minor. I actually could get my fingernails in a couple of the cracks and I was really concerned. Well, here's what I learned. These tires are Michelin tires. Michelin uses a higher percentage of natural rubber than other tire manufacturers. And they actually give you a chart when you buy Michelin tires that show you how many cracks are too many. Well, here's why I went ahead and bought new tires. I knew I was going to have the motorhome for at least a year, for several years, many years. So why not just go ahead and get the tires now? I wanted to have that peace of mind and I just didn't want to worry. If you're a longtime viewer, you probably remember that we had a flat tire and we drove across the Golden Gate Bridge. Why? Because we didn't know we had a flat tire. Before I had the Golden Gate incident, I thought that blowouts were just random things that you couldn't predict. Well, I learned that many blowouts are preventable. What causes a blowout is heat, the tires getting too hot. So this could be driving in high temperatures in the summer and the roads really hot, but it could also mean that that tire is slightly underinflated. So there's more tire making contact with the road, building up heat, and that is what causes many blowouts. Now on travel days, you can stop as often as you like and check your tires, but that doesn't mean as soon as you start driving again that you're not gonna drive over a screw or a nail and have a flat. So a tire pressure monitoring system is really the way to go no matter what you're towing. If you're a full-time, if you're a weekender, it's really important to have a system so you know what's going on. So I went with the best TPMS I could find, which is TST Truck. They have a division where they provide the air monitoring and air filling systems for the over-the-road trucks. All of their products for the RV industry are tested on these trucks. They can get a million test miles in a month. The TPMS monitor is monitoring high pressure, low pressure and high temperature. These numbers are all programmable. You don't even have to look at the monitor when you're driving down the road because you have an alarm that will go off if it crosses that set point. And here's what makes it so easy. The day before a travel day, all I do is I turn on my monitor and I can check my tires without having to go around to each tire and check the pressure. I just look at the monitor and see that everything's okay. The sensors come in three ways. There's a screw-on sensor, which you remove when you add air. There is a flow-through sensor where you can add air without removing the sensor. And there's actually an internal sensor that has to be installed at a tire shop. Now, if you're towing a travel trailer or fifth wheel, your truck may already have a built-in TPMS. However, I still recommend that you add on a system because your built-in will not monitor high pressure, high temperature, and there's no alarm. 
Now, if you have a motor home and you're pulling a vehicle like I am, I recommend that you get sensors for that towed as well. It's really important to just know what's going on back there. And if you have a fifth wheel, I recommend that you go ahead and get a sensor for the spare. Most of the fifth wheels, the spare is under the rig. You have to crank it down. It would be awful if you're on the side of the road and you need to change a flat and oh gosh, no air in the spare. TST Truck makes a product called Spare Air, which makes it so easy to monitor and fill the air on your spare tire. It's a hose that goes from the spare to the side of your trailer so that you can easily fill the air. TST Truck is giving you 15% off any of their systems. Just click the link in the description and then enter in the code LIZ15. Well, speaking of tire pressure, it's really important that you have a tire inflator on board with you at all times. You never know when you need to add air. Camper tires can require a higher PSI. My last rig, a fifth wheel, the tires were 80 PSI. My motorhome requires 120 PSI. The small portable tire inflators will really struggle to get to those high PSIs. It may take 45 minutes or an hour. They could overheat. You'd have to switch it off and wait and switch it back on. So I definitely recommend getting a good tire inflator. I'm using the Viair 450 and I love it. I don't have to worry about recharging a battery or even plugging it in. It has alligator clips where I clip it to the battery and it uses that power. It's very easy to use and it's robust. I've partnered with Techno RV, which is giving you 5% off via air. Just click the link in the description and then use the code LizAmazing5. Camper tires actually do have a lifespan. It's recommended that you replace them every six to eight years. Now you don't wanna replace them based on the date you bought them. You wanna replace them on the date that they were manufactured. Now you can find that date on the sidewall. It's a DOT number and you wanna look at the last four digits. The last two are the year that they were made and the two before that were the week number of the year. My tires say 1622. They were manufactured on the 16th week of 2022. So what makes tires age out? If you think about a rubber band, you maybe have an old one in your house and how dry and brittle they get and how easily they break. Air is what makes tires age. The rubber dries out. Also sun and armor all. I learned that you do not want to use armor all on the tires. It will actually dry them out faster and you wanna protect your tires from sun. This is why when you look around in campgrounds, a lot of people have tire covers. Tire covers are very reasonable, and in fact, I'll put a link to some in my Amazon store. The tires for my motorhome cost over $5,000, so it's a good idea to protect your investment. We'll share any tire safety tips that you may have, and if you have a flat tire story, I wanna hear it. And as always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.